okay, every day after work, you know, it's five o'clock, you go home, you're tired, you had a long day, maybe you're in traffic, you get home and you've already kind of planned what you want to do for the night. Maybe you want to have dinner, and you just want to watch a TV show or movie, chill out, go to bed, get a good night's sleep so you can be fresh for the next day, right? Now think of the people in your life that you would throw that little schedule out the window for. Oh my God, so-and-so is in town. I don't care what was on my little agenda. Screw that, this is more important. Thank you. I'm about to get on a train and go to... How long does it take to repair down power lines? Is it easy? Well, they're saying by 6 p.m. the tracks will be open. I don't know how we got on the track. It's not raining. I don't know what happened. Uh, cool. Well, thank you so much. How's your day going? Good. Thank Good? you for asking. Yeah, for sure. Thank you so much. You're welcome. The, the power lines on the tracks are down, which means that the train can't leave. So it's four o'clock right now. The next train is at six. So hopefully the, tr the power lines will be repaired by six. The thing is that my flight leaves from LAX tomorrow night. And tonight I'm supposed to see Anthony because he's working all day tomorrow. So I was gonna go have dinner with him because Anthony's good people. You know, in Asia, if a train is more than one minute late, there's anarchy on the streets. <laughs> but no, I'm not gonna do that. So, since we have some time, uh, now would be a good time to just uh, to have a nice little conversation. Today, I'm going up to LA to see my friend Anthony. Um, he's got a super busy schedule. He's a working man, just like my friends here in San Diego. Very busy schedules. For me now on this trip, the most important thing is being able to spend some time, any time, with the people that I care most about. What I wound up doing to go see my friend Anthony, I changed my flight to leave from a different airport, so I go up and see him. Because he's he's a good person, he's good people. And my belief is that when there's good people in your life, you make room for them. Uh, let me expand on that. When you have good people in your life, you one, recognize that they're awesome, two, appreciate them for being awesome, and then three, you treat them right and you do everything you can to to show and express that you love them and you think they're amazing people. And all through my trip here in San Diego, that's what my friends did for me. My friends changed schedules, they went like they they in, they inconvenienced themselves to come to come see me, which is just so as just which is just a wonderful feeling. My friend Todd like like fit me in like in his crazy busy day to come see me and traveling back and forth between LA and San Diego. My friend Scott drove across the county today to come have lunch uh, and then went out the other night when he's like a super he's very regimented like he never goes out during the week Johnny gave me some of his professional time which is extremely expensive um, but it's just super beneficial to me as a growing business professional my friend Logan he he let me stay at his house he, he changed his plans so he could hang out with me and made sure he, he came home every day after work to hang out and he to me and we went out and party last night even though it was a work night we're both a little hungover today Corey changed plans after work when she was super tired she came just just so she could see me for a little bit and like that's what friends do like your good friends the people that you should have in your life you know they you're there for each other and it means like so much to me I love you guys so much so now uh, my schedule is a little messed up today going to see my friend Anthony um, my flight leaves tomorrow from LAX which means I have it's 4 p.m. right now I leave about 5 p.m. tomorrow so I've got 25 hours to see my friend and for me, that's plenty of time. If I see Anthony for one minute or one hour or 10 hours, it doesn't matter. As long as I get to see him face to face, give him a hug, tell him I love him, that's the most important thing. It's 4.45, only 45 minutes later than anticipated. Uh, it's not a big deal, I don't care. So I'm about to leave and it'll take about three hours to get up to LA. I'm gonna do some work on the way there and hopefully show you guys some pretty sights along the way.
quick update. So they said there's going to be 90 kids at this stop. I assume they meant 90 college kids going somewhere. Um, they literally mean children. Oh my gosh, you're two seats right there. Have a seat. Oh, sorry. Yes. Karen, Kiara, Audrey. Audrey, right here. You can squeeze in. Oh my God. Have a seat now. This is how you know there are a billion kids in your train. Freaking goldfish and cheese it boxes. Ah, okay. So just made it to Los Angeles Union Station, and I need to go over to like West Hollywood, La Sienica, that kind of area. It's like 10 miles away, 30 minutes driving, 45 minutes on the metro. I just need to decide um, just how diva I'm feeling right now. Do I want to take an Uber or do I want to take the metro? All right, I decided I'm not feeling very diva. I want to take the metro. Uh, I'm going to try to. This is ridiculous. I went down some stairs. And then I found the maps. These maps. And I'll have to go like from here to here, down to here, and then take an Uber. So like, um, so I've wasted about 30 minutes on this process. Uh, I admit defeats. And uh, I'm gonna go take an Uber now because I ain't got time for that. Uh, I have to have that like uh, at the end. Yeah. Like the pronunciation is, it has to be that way. Yeah, yeah, so like, it's, so with that language, basically there's the different tones, there's four tones. Each tone can mean like a different word. Yeah, so you can say, a good example is like, like, word for horse and for mom. It's like written the same, it'd be M-A, but like mom is ma, and then horse is ma. Oh. See what I'm saying? Watch out. <laughs> Anthony! Hey. Bronte doggy. Say hello to Anthony. How are you?